there's a new process revolutionizing the industry. We've been with them now for about three or four years now, and we've had nothing but success with them. A surface treatment that's setting the standard. It's making everyone strive to get better themselves. I, mean, I think they're pushing the industry to advance even further. An innovation with exceptional results. It saved us a lot of tool repair and costs, so it's been a win-win for us and for a motor company. Dynamic Metal Treating International presents DynaBlue. Hello, I'm Lauren Epler, President of Dynamic Metal Treating International in Canton, Michigan. Over the years, we've been listening to our customers' concerns regarding wear and corrosion problems they faced on various tools and components. These problems often incur costly downtime and poor product quality. Fortunately, there's an answer. In the next 10 minutes, you'll find out why Dynamic Metal Treating is the value-added solution to improve the useful life of your tools, machines, and components. We'll be presenting DynaBlue, a new process we've developed that's revolutionizing the industry with remarkable results. We'll show you how DynaBlue will lower your operating costs, make your products last longer, while increasing throughput and market share. This presentation will highlight several benefits of DynaBlue automatically, but you can also tour it manually by clicking on the content map below or by using the television buttons to scroll from segment to segment. The lifespan and quality of a tool, die, or component is dependent on the manufacturing process of the components. Historically, various manufacturers have had limited success in designing a surface treatment for improving durability in various environments. Many decades have been spent trying to tap the secret of long-term solutions. There has never been a complete answer until now. Welcome to Dynamic Metal Treating International. Dynamic first opened its doors over 17 years ago to serve the cutting tool industry. Since then, they've become the supplier of choice to the die cast and plastic injection mold industries, as well as the automotive, aerospace, and cold and hot forming industries. Over the years, Dynamic developed a surfacing process that has proven to be comprehensive, cost-effective, and durable. This process is an advanced state-of-the-art surface treatment that engineers at Dynamic Metal Treating eventually named DynaBlue. DynaBlue offers a low temperature treatment that produces a ceramic-like layer below the surface with an attractive blue-black finish that will resist chipping or flaking. It can be seen here on the left. Using the DynaBlue process, Dynamic has achieved unprecedented levels of satisfaction, as witnessed by one such customer. This not only saved LDM a lot of money, but it's also saving Ford's now, as Ford's is going to carry over this part into their new vehicle, um, and they need to build replacement tooling. And we have other suppliers that make similar parts for the same vehicle, and Ford has come back and said, what do you need to quote for tooling? And we said, well, we don't need tooling. And what do you mean you don't need tooling? It, the stuff's been running, you know, over a million cycles. And we said, the tool's like it was when it left, you know, initially built. And uh, Ford's actually came out and reviewed the tool and said, they're right, they don't need to build a new tool. So what it's done for us is, Ford's has now placed more work with us because it saved them about, um, it's a dual tool source. So it saved, and each tool is about $180,000. So there's two tools that they won't need to build for the next series of um, trucks. So it's, it saved Ford's money, it's made us look good, and in the same time, the last four years, it saved us a lot of tool repair and costs. So it's been a win-win for us and Ford Motor Company. To better understand the DynaBlue process, let's take a close look at a graphic simulation. The process begins when anhydrous ammonia, natural gas, and nitrogen are combined inside a gas manifold. These gases then travel through a diffusion plate where they are evenly distributed as they enter a heating chamber. The gases cause aluminum oxide particles to react much like that of a liquid. These particles carry heat and reactive gases to the part being treated. The heat is rapidly distributed throughout the work zone, which provides excellent temperature uniformity, allowing the parts to be heated more evenly and processed with less distortion. It is at the molecular level where the DynaBlue process can be distinctively noted. Here, the surface of the part being treated is constantly scrubbed with reactive gases and absorbed into the steel at a rate up to six times faster than a conventional furnace. DynaBlue even penetrates holes, bores, and tiny crevices. As you can see, the end result is an exceptionally wear-resistant surface. 
As shown in this photo at 500 times magnification is a white ceramic-like compound layer at 75 Rockwell C equivalent with a nitrogen-rich diffusion zone for support. This layer will not fracture during impact or even at a 90 degree bend. Just ask Dwayne Stover, production manager of Premier Tool and Die. If we have to shut down once every eight hour shift and polish something, then we go to DynaBlue and we can cut it down to once every seven or eight or more uh, shifts, then that's a big savings. Lost production, a lot of potential problems can go wrong when you have to shut down. As you start up, you can break cords or create other damage. And if we eliminate that, it's a cost savings. The studies our engineering department did just showed that DynaBlue was a better process for our process. And that makes me happy in production. The DynaBlue process offers over 30 variations that can be applied to a variety of applications, including cutting tools, die cast, plastic injection molding, stamping, gears, machine and automotive components, and much more. This process can currently be applied to parts as large as 41 and a half inches in diameter by 134 inches long and weighing up to 10 tons. However, as the need for a larger capacity arises, Dynamic will meet that need. One industry that is taking advantage of DynaBlue is professional racing. Since we've been with the DynaBlue process, everything in our engines has been outstanding. Where in years past, our crankshafts, we would probably go through two to three in a season. Now that we're with DynaBlue, we use one crankshaft. Last year we won five out of six championships and we couldn't have done it without Dynamic. There's so many different industries out there that could benefit by using this process. Let's look at a case study that was conducted by a Midwest diecaster. When we get a brand new cavity in here for sampling, we don't even want to shoot it before we dynablue it. That's how confident we are, because we know that we're not going to ruin that cavity with that dynablue on it. As you can see, dynamic metal treating dramatically improves the overall durability of various tool and machine pieces. The DynaBlue process ensures that tools are heated more evenly, making for less distortion. In addition, Dynamic has a state-of-the-art 10-plus bar vacuum furnace designed to improve impact resistance. It also offers thermal fatigue strength and control heating to reduce distortion of tools before receiving the DynaBlue treatment. In one surface treatment study of DynaBlue versus Chrome, DynaBlue was rated best for dimensional control with a uniform 1 to 2 tenths growth per side. Let's face it, time is money. Quick access to Dynamic, along with a fast turnaround time, is essential for increasing your delivery and payback time. Parts come in here, and whether it's one pound or 6,000 pounds, we're able to process it within 24 hours. We have worldwide service for our Dynablue. We give a 24-hour turnaround. We have cellular phone contact with our drivers. And the service has been very good. We send it out, a couple days later, it's back. When we're in a rush, we've had personal deliveries. So it's worked out to our advantage as well. Dynamic promises customer service and support that exceeds the competition. Employees are trained to be proactive and not reactive to the needs of our customers. Every customer that walks in here has an environmental application or materials problem. So we take a vast array of uh, the metallurgical capabilities we have and we break it down to a simplest form and try to arrive at a root cause. Once we know that root cause, um, we can go back to the customer and suggest um, alternate materials, alternate processing methods. Um, oftentimes it results in huge cost savings, even engineering changes. And I think that's what separates us from the rest. It's been very successful and we've just ran with it now as a standard um, on all new tool builds. We've had zero problems and uh, zero defects as far as the DynaBlue process. Because of its track record and cutting edge capabilities, DynaBlue has been approved by various organizations, including quality assurance through statistical process control, ISO 9002 and QS 9000 certified, General Motors, TPH AA001, Daimler Chrysler PS4TN, AMS 2757, Caterpillar 1E0548, Borg Warner, Dana, and Meritor Ferretic Nitro Carburizing. 
as well as sole supplier for the DynaBlue process on transmission components for a number of high-performance luxury car lines. I sincerely hope that you've enjoyed this presentation and learned about the benefits of DynaBlue for your application. Dynamic Metal Treating and I are committed to providing you with the quality that you can depend on. In fact, we'd like to offer you a free trial run of the DynaBlue process, providing you give us the quantitative data before and after. Thank you. As seen here in a typical die cast application, the heating, cooling, and attack from aluminum causes wear and breakdown of the mold surface much faster than when it has not received the DynaBlue treatment. For this reason, the DynaBlue process incorporates anti-sticking agents that prevent aluminum from sticking or soldering on the surface, which helps to reduce buildup on mold surfaces as well as decrease cleanup and downtime. Uh, treatment has reduced our cost some of it in replacement cost. Uh, we have extended core life through the use of this treatment. Again, because of the less polishing, uh, less taking the stone to it to remove the buildup. Uh, it's a very hard and durable surface, which has allowed us to get many more shots. I would recommend it to pretty much any company for any application we've had and used it on. It's been very good to us. Because of heat check, Wear and washout resistance has proven to reduce tool and die costs 50% or more, which in turn gives customers a competitive advantage. When we bid with our customers, we can lose a job over a nickel a part, which may not sound like much, but when you're quoting 500,000, a million parts a year, it definitely makes us more competitive. We've lost jobs and won jobs over a nickel a part. DynaBlue gives us that advantage when it comes down to replacement tooling and perpetual die costs. After extensive studies by the North American Die Casting Association, DynaBlue was determined to be the most cost-effective surface treatment and is now considered the industry benchmark. I think DynaBlue has somewhat set the standard, because they are above the rest of their competition, that it's making everyone strive to get better themselves. I think they're pushing the industry to advance even further, which is going to do nothing but help die casters. By increasing the wear resistance of the mold surface in glass-filled molding applications, DynaBlue can extend the life of plastic injection molds, which saves you money. When a mold sweats, it will not rust because of DynaBlue's high corrosion resistance. Also, DynaBlue offers advantages over iron nitride, chrome, and nickel coatings. Initially, you can expect much higher surface hardness, as well as better weldability with DynaBlue. You will find that parting lines stay sharp longer, thus reducing the need to trim molded parts. We used to use some other processes and uh, it didn't get down in the deep areas or in the ribs um, and it's taking our tool expense and we've been doing it for a little over four years now um, from running anywhere from sixty to seventy thousand dollars a month down to about six thousand dollars a month and we no longer trim parts so our parting lines don't erode from the gas it's actually the material it's the glass um, and the, the DynaBlue has pretty much stopped it and uh, the tool room likes it, so, um, and it works. And uh, it's reduced a lot of overhead costs for us. We don't have knives either. Your parting line's not a road, so the people don't have knives, they don't get cut. And how do you put a dollar figure on safety um, other than you've improved it, we've reduced accidents in the last five years by about 80%. Additionally, the molds last much longer, thereby decreasing tool cost, repair, and downtime. LDM has what they call best practices to try and share ideas, and we've put together what we call a best practice with DynaBlue for the rest of LDM. Now, we don't want the industry, but we'd like LDM and the other LDM plants to know about it.